killed him. The Arizona State men's basketball team is excited to welcome fans back inside the arena this season as Desert Financial was empty just about one year ago. The Sun Devils hosted Portland for the first non-conference game of the season and recorded a victory winning handily 76-60. It felt good to be out there though um, with fans and it's been what two years since I played a, played a game in front of friends so uh, a little bit of nerves, a little, a little anxiety so you know it was, it's good to get that out the way now it's time to uh, really lock in and try to go out there and get a win Thursday. Even with the energetic crowd both teams came out very flat. Shots weren't falling and turnovers plagued the Sun Devils early. However, this buzzer beater from Marion Jackson put the Sun Devils ahead 31 to 25 before going in the halftime. Time running out at three, at two, taken away! Bang! <laughs> Marion Jackson! This play is exactly what the Sun Devils needed to end the half after shooting two of 16 from three and turning the ball over nine times. ASU picked it up in the second and would quickly go on a 15 and five scoring run to keep the game under control. Graduate forward Kamani Lawrence led the team with 19 points and 10 rebounds for his third career double-double, and he noted the importance of hitting the reset button at halftime to come out and play a different game. Well, I mean, we was up at halftime, but we wasn't really satisfied with our performance. So, you know, uh, as a leader, I definitely knew Hurley wasn't going to be happy with what we did in the first half, so I just, you know, we talked about it in the, in the locker room, just about what we need to do, uh, what we need to fix, and what we need to address. And we just carry that out. You know, we approached the second half like it was a completely new game, you know, and uh, it worked out for us. ASU would close out the second half with scoring improvement, going 5 of 11 from the arc and shooting 56.3% overall. Sophomore guard DJ Horn led the team with three buckets from downtown, and junior center Alonzo Gaffney went 7 of 9 from the field for 15 total points. The Sun Devils will be back at DFA on Thursday for another non-conference game against UC Riverside. For Cronkite Sports, this has been Nick Borgia.